Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskarov, founder of Laravel Daily and Quick Admin Panel, back with you uh, while creating our Quick LMS learning management system. I've been away for a week, had a little holiday, now I'm back first day in the office, so forgive me if I'm still slow and sleepy and might say something wrong, but we continue. I kind of missed that thing, missed creating the LMS. So the last thing what we finished in, in video number six, this is video number seven, uh, we had a list of our courses and we could click on a course to view that. And now inside that course we need to have a list of lessons, right? But for courses we had seeds, uh, we had a course factory and then a course seed file. So let's do the same for, uh, for lessons. We will see some dummy lessons to test that. But for that, I recently found out that this thing can be rewritten in a much better way. So, uh, for example, in the seed, you want to seed courses and then do something with every course. It's, it's much better to have this. So, uh, I'll remind you for that, we had courses and then for every course, we attached the teachers. We can do it this way each and then we have function closure function and then inside of that function we can do whatever with that course so we have this and let's try to reseed our data if it works again migrate refresh with seed complete the table and seeding worked well and if you if we see our courses now we have five courses and with teachers course user yep so five teachers attached uh, so here we can actually do the same with lessons so I will write for for now done code lessons from what I remember save many and then factory actually I have a snippet for that I won't bother typing it manually uh, save it here so it looks like this so of course it's lessons we save many lessons and then we have factory for each lesson and we create but for that we need two things for for this to work so we need to have a relationship and of course each p we need to have a relationship to lesson to lessons function lessons turn this as many uh, lesson class that's it and thing number two is to have actually a factory of lesson uh, so we have a course factory let's save it as lesson factory and we will fill it in with data lesson factory okay and then we open lesson factory and we need to change what lesson here and then what fields do we need for the lesson uh, lesson structure right course ID will be automatically filled with relationship we don't need that but we need title and slug and I think we can leave it here actually we will change it to think words and three words actually I'll check the faker documentation words is an array so it doesn't really doesn't really fit let's put it text 50 characters of text. Okay, so we'll have a title, we have a slug, slug, uh, then lesson image. Let's skip that for now. Short text and full text. Short text, let it be a paragraph. And full text, let it be a text of maximum 1000 characters. Uh, then we need position. For position, I could implement some logic of like max something, but uh, I will just skip it for now. So position will be 1 to 10. That will be position of lesson in the course. And then free lesson or not, let make, let's make it a random of 0 and 1, which means randomly free or not, and the same with published, published or not. Uh, and I think we're good for now. Right, so we have our lesson factory. We have it 
used here and probably we need to run composer jump out a lot so it will it will recognize the new factory. I'm not sure if we need that but from time to time I do run composer dump out a lot on creating something new, some file or some class just in case. Okay that's done and then we refresh and seed our database with hopefully lessons. Class lesson not found. Alright, of course. Uh, here we need to... Of course I've copied the snippet so the snippet didn't add the lesson here. Again. Yay, no errors here for now and let's see if our lessons actually contain something. Yay, we have dummy lessons, 10 lessons for each of the course with random positions and randomly free and published. And next we will view those lessons in the list of the course. So we are back in our homepage and let's click the course and let's view the lessons here. Let's show the lessons. So for that we probably need to open blade file, view, less of you courses, course, course description. And here we'll have something like for each course lessons. Um, and for each as lesson, um, we have probably have a link to the lesson. Uh, with lesson title here and a little description, lesson short text from what I remember, and let's put a line after that. And what else we can do here is to have a variable, like a loop variable from what I remember, loop iterate. Um, Loop iteration, yes. Okay, so this will contain a number, like the, the position of lesson in that for each thing. And what else we can do here is in the relationship of course lessons, we can add order by position. And it will automatically order the, order the lessons by position. I hope it will work. A lot of the code I'm, I'm writing now, I'm writing from memory and then uh, I hope it works. Uh, right, so we have lessons and let's refresh the thing. I've checked some variable documentation here. Yeah, here. So refresh and no lessons here. Right, why? Course lessons. Okay, let's put it this way, course controller, course where first with lessons. Now, of course, I need to add, I need to add with lessons. Right, so we have a list of lessons here and ordered by position. Let's let's check if they're actually ordered by position. Uh, so first we have Ipsam und key courses. All right, it's, it's course number five. So lesson in course number five. And yes, actually position number three. Then we have position number four, which should be lesson number two and so on and so forth. So now we have a list of lessons here in the description of the course. Now there are two more things left to do in this video. First is to, to utilize two more fields in lessons that are free and published. So let's start with free. So if lesson is free, we will add uh, we will add uh, this thing free before before the, the number. So if Lesson three. We will add this. Let's see how it looks. Do we have any free lessons? 
Oh, it's not lesson free, it's free lesson. Field is different. Yeah, so some of the lessons are free. Later we will implement the logic of actually buying the course and then attending and then some of the lessons will be free or not, like actually accessible, but it's enough for now. And the last thing is published. So not all of the lessons in here are published. We have a field called publish uh, equals one or zero. And there are a few ways how we can filter uh, filter that. I think that thing would work where published equals one. Yes, so we have only six lessons which are actually published, uh, ordered by position. But <clears throat> I just want to show you how you could do it the other way. Maybe uh, for now it, it, it will do, but uh, in general, how I would do that is to have a separate relationship published lessons. So published lessons ordered by position and where published equals one. And then here we have published lessons and we don't need that. Uh, and we need to change the controller as well. So with published lessons. Let's try that again. See the same result and probably I will stay with this implementation for now. Uh, it's much more readable. Let's put it this way. And there is another way to implement the same thing is query scopes with eloquent scopes, but I won't show it in this video. You can try it yourself. So that's enough for this lesson, I guess. We have a list of lessons in our course, and in the next lesson we will implement the route and all the logic for the lesson details. Uh, and in general I have a list, I have a plan for this video course of LMS creating, so I think I'm four or five videos away from actually publishing it on GitHub and uh, publishing maybe a separate project. So stay tuned for more videos and see you in the next lesson.